Today we are taking a bullet train from here in Seoul to Jeonju. Now the ticket cost 36 US dollars and it's one of the fastest trains in the world. So right now we are just going through Seoul station as you can see here. Before we head on board we're going to grab a snack from the convenience store. So we have some of these kind of triangular kimbaps. So this one is beef. I think I'm going to go for one of these. And Carolina, what are you thinking? That's tuna over here. The blue one's tuna. This is this is kimchi. Maybe let's go for the tuna one. Tuna. Okay. So that's the tuna one. And of course, no trip to the convenience store would would be without a banana milk. Four thousand seven hundred. Thank you. We have got our kimbap. Now we need to head to the train. We're going to platform 11. So I think we can take the stairs. Looks like our train has not arrived. So we're on a little bit of a rush to get the uh, snacks because on board, I don't think they serve uh, much food and it's probably not that tasty. The train has arrived. So this is what a bullet train looks like. We're at the wrong end of the train, so we're hoping it doesn't leave. This one's car 11 and we're at car 3. We need to get to that side. <laughs> and it, I really don't know if they leave very quickly. Because usually the depart time is the time right now. And the train comes earlier, but I think we have to go there. Ah, let's run. <laughs> this is when it comes to travel, it gets a little bit nerve wracking because we don't want to miss that train. Okay. All right. Whew. Got a bit of cardio in. Oh, this is ours. This is ours? Okay, nice. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we've got some vending machines. All right. Yeah, let's leave our accommodation. I leave our accommodation? Leave our baggage. Baggage? Let's leave our baggage here. We made it, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put this one up here. Actually perfect usually it's actually occupied yeah that's perfect we've got our baggage here and now we can find a way to our seats oh, it's very quiet all right this is our seat so we're here guys 3c 3b these are the seats. Actually, the train has already started yeah. running and I didn't even feel anything. <laughs> and actually, it left pretty quickly to when it arrived. Yes. So you really have to get on the train quickly. And that's what we were worried about, if it was going to leave. But uh, we've got a nice view here. Oh, there's plenty of leg room. Wow. Lots of leg room. And this is for the table, I think. Yeah, got a table. And it's it's very quiet because actually on Korean transport you have to be quiet. <laughs> Usually people don't talk, like we're not used to it. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a different country here. So we've got nice armrest. Armrest this side. I don't know what this does. Ooh, it moves. So it's reclining. Oh yeah, it's reclining. And then you can go forward. It's not bad. And it's uh, nice and calm. Yeah. I, actually, running onto the train, it's quite hectic. Like, usually when we take trains, the train arrives like 15, 20 minutes before, and then you can get settled down, but... Maybe actually somewhere there was a map where we should stand, but like, we didn't see any. Yeah, and actually, because we were at the complete opposite end of the train, and so, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, because you were literally running to get onto the train. Yeah, in the front, like, there was the last carriage. Got a bit of a sweat on. So we didn't even realise, but we are actually sitting in first class. And the only reason I knew is because on the doors it says first class. And we booked the tickets ages ago. So this is what you're going to get for $36 each. So I'm actually always curious how the toilets look like. So let's see. And this is the sign of the first class that we're talking about. Toilet, the 
your sun mirror, just like this. <laughs> There's some wind farm. Yeah, the toilet is quite small, but it's really clean, as you can see. I love it. And it doesn't smell. So we are in first class here, guys, and you can actually get free bottle of water, so I'll get two of these. Listening back to our GoPro clips, and that the lady came over and told us to stop, so we're just trying to be quite quiet. But I want to show you how fast we're actually moving on this train right now. So, this is how fast we are moving, and it's going up and up. This is in kilometers per hour. We've got our snacks here. Also, in first class, you get access to Wi Fi. So, if you click this, look how fast the internet is super fast. The Wi Fi in Korea is crazy. All right guys, so we're gonna dig into our kimbaps. We've also got our kind of snacks, which we don't know what's inside. So I've got the beef kimbap. Let's give this a go. I love it how it's hard mm -hmm. mm. mm. Oh, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit sweet, but also spicy. It's actually really good. Mine, mine is quite uh, mild. It's with tuna. Mm. These are really good because you can just take them on the go from the convenience stores. Mm. And you've got them on hand. And it's got good meals, like a mm. bit of meat, some carbs from the uh, rice, and you've got the seaweed, which I think is pretty healthy. And it's fresh. We have arrived in Jeonju. That train went super quick. It was two hours and it just went by just like that. So we have just come outside of the train station and this is the train station. Look how cool this building is. Really beautiful. And I tell you what guys, that train was really good. It is really good value for money. I mean, first class for $36 each. If you're in England and you have the same type of train, they'd probably charge you at least $100, probably a lot more than that. It was super quiet, you couldn't hear the noise of the, the train. Um, it was very relaxing, very peaceful. And the internet's super fast, so you can be watching videos or doing anything you want on the internet. And that's what I was doing, just uh, relaxing and listening to Jurgen Klopp for Liverpool, talking about the big VAR mistake, but uh, less about football. We're heading to the bus right now, so I think it's somewhere around here. This is for the taxis. Taxis all the way around here. But uh, we need to take a bus to the Hanok village. That's where we're going to be staying. We're staying in an actual Hanok house. So our bus has arrived. It's just this one over here. We'll go through the front door. 
All right. Team Money Guard. Absolutely amazing. Makes life so much easier tra traveling around Korea. All right, guys, we have made it. Took around two buses and also it took about an hour. So it actually took quite a bit of time because of uh, all the buses you had to get on, the waiting times. But now we're here, so we're gonna head to the Hanok village where we're gonna be staying in a traditional Hanok house. So we are now in the Hanok village. You can tell by these very cute buildings over here. We've actually booked our Hanok house through the bag keeps slipping off, making it, making it very difficult to record. Oh, okay. We uh, have arrived. This is our place. We booked this on booking.com. And let's see. I'm guessing we're staying in one of these rooms. You need to remove, I think, the shoes first. Yes. Ah, yes, okay. Let's take off our shoes. <laughs> okay. Okay, for the air conditioning. Okay. Up and down. Okay. Ah, oh, underfloor heating. Heating. Ah, aircon is there. Yes. Towers are here. Okay. Fridge. Ah, water. And for sleeping. Uh, one more. Uh, I think. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard that it's going to be comfortable. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come with that. Okay. So Carolyn is gonna figure out how we do this. Like we we're not used to sleeping on the floor, but they've got underfloor heating. So I've got a feeling that it's going to be uh, cold at night time, but then during the day it's hot. So got the aircon. This is a thicker part, so I think this one goes underneath. Yeah, so maybe grab the thick one. That's why I've got Carolina mm -hmm. to help me with these things, because I would be absolutely useless. Okay. okay. This is the thick one. Mm -hmm. Let's check. Ah, so it's like a kind of like a mattress for a person, I yeah. think. Yeah, I think she was asking whether we wanted to have, you know, a double layer. Maybe. But it's, uh, it's pretty good. That's the mattress. We've got these pillows, which, oh, they're kind of like made out of like, I don't know, like a beanie bag. And look at these colors. Like, I love this pink. I think we do have a private bathroom. And let's pull that one. Oh, it's very small. So I think let's put the light on. So this is our bathroom. It's tiny. So uh, that will do the job. And uh, we are set up here in our little house. So we are now just exploring the area. You can see a lot of people wearing the traditional hanbok. It's a really nice area, actually. You've got a nice balance between the traditional kind of Hanok village, and then you've got the modern side of things like the shop here. And uh, it's very nice and peaceful. A very good place for tourists. It's like a little village of everything you need. Even even down the pavement here, you've got a nice little stream running through it. You can rent the uh, hammock just here. So apparently tomorrow is the festival for Bimimbap. And this is obviously the home of Bimimbap. So we're going to be having plenty of that because we find it absolutely delicious. Looking forward to it. We've got so much more content coming your way for Korea. So don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.